Hey guys, welcome back to the Nord Start video. Guys, in this video, you will discover when you open any page in your Safari browser, you may face a problem that Safari couldn't open the page because the server stopped responding. So, how can you fix it? So, guys, we can fix it very easily. So, simply, you may just go back and first of all, guys, you may just open the settings of your iPhone or iPad and guys, you make sure that you have an active internet connection. If you are connected to Wi Fi, you may click here on your Wi Fi. And here is the option of Wi Fi name. So you may click here and click on forget this network and connect it again. Or if you are connected to mobile data, you may click here on mobile services. So click here and you may select mobile data options and you may make sure that your voice and data selected as 4G or 5G. Then guys, you may go back and you may scroll it down. And here is the option of VPN. If there is a connected VPN, you may disconnect that. After this, guys, you may click here on general and you may scroll it down. And here is the option of software update. And update your iPhone or iPad to the latest iOS version. Then, guys, you may go back again and you may scroll it down. And here is the option of date and time. So, you may click here and click on set automatically turn this on. After this, click here on language and region. And you may select region from here and you may select that region where you live. Then, go back and here is the option of transfer or reset iPhone. Click here, click on reset and click on reset network settings. Then, guys, you may go back and you may just restart your device and check that your problem will be fixed. If your problem is still not fixed, then guys, you may go back and you may open settings again and you may open apps. So click here on apps and you may select Safari from here. So you may check here. I am selecting Safari. So here you may scroll down and here is the option of default browser app. You may select Safari and then you may scroll it down again and click on block pop up. So you may turn this on. Then you may scroll it down and you may check. Here is the option of clear history and website data. So you may clear all data from here and share across devices so you may turn this on and click on automatically save offline turn this off then click here on advanced and click on mobile data and you may select all to default from here so let's check this scroll it down and click on remove all website data then go back and you may click here on feature flags and you may select all to default from here in the law so let's check click here so reset all to default then go back again and you may just restart you and to check your problem will be fixed so if your problem is still not fixed still by all these methods then guys you may just reset your iphone and you may check your problem will be fixed but you may remember before reset your iphone you should create the backup of your iphone data because when you reset your data will be lost so simply you may click here on your general in settings and hit the option of transfer or reset iphone and click on erase all content and settings and you may make sure that you should create backup of your apps data you may make secure your apple account and uh, you may turn off point by from here and then guys you may reset your iphone and your problem will be fixed and you may check you can enjoy your safari browser easily so by all these methods you can fix it very easily so this is the video guys for more videos please subscribe our channel